Dozens of men, women, and children dig through piles of trash every day in the Tokmok dump outside of Tokmok, Kyrgyzstan. The scrappers collect bottles and other items to sell and only make two to three dollars per day. Their workdays are repetitive and endless, even through the bitter cold of a Kyrgyzstan winter. They light a few fires throughout the day to keep themselves warm and rid the area of trash that won't earn them money. Most of the scrappers live in homes surrounding the landfill. <laughs> Natasha relies on the dump to support herself and her four children. Her oldest son is 11 and helps to find bottles for the family. Her husband died on December 31st, 2011, and now she must support her young boys on her own. She smokes to calm her nerves, but is embarrassed by her habit because her husband never liked her smoking. She still uses the shack he had built her around the corner from the dump to store some of her finds during the day. Another landfill scrapper, Jildis Sharshekovna, works there with two of her four sons, Ruslan and Irlan. Jildish's husband died of cancer six years ago, and the family has been working in the dump almost daily for seven years. Ruslan collects cell phone cases, and has even passed them off as real cell phones and made money off of them to unsuspecting buyers. All day long, dump trucks arrive, open their beds, and dump trash out to the scrappers' eager rakes, collecting anything that could earn them a few cents. Like Natasha, the family only makes two to three dollars per day collecting bottles and scrap metal, at home, they live in a rundown apartment building, stealing power for their one space heater, one light bulb, and their TV. And while her kids are still kids, fighting like all boys do, Jildish must deal with the pains of the family, mostly alone. <laughs> 